the sound test room. Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Animoog. So kind of an Animoog tutorial, <clears throat> a couple of different Animoog things, some of the things I like about Animoog, how to do certain things with Animoog. Um, but first of all, uh, here's the thing. Uh, yesterday, well, if whenever, I did this uh, video on YouTube called Guitar Capo Update Demo for iPad. With lots of cool new stuff, which was uh, about the new update okay, for Google. What is fish sauce? Guitar Capo. Fish sauce is an amber coloured liquid extracted from the firm. Okay. And, um, I had some people ask me in, in some comments here about the clock sound. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room today. Uh, take a what sound pack the were you using? Hang on a sec. Shut up, Doug. What sound pack were you using to get those clicky clock sounds? And then someone else said, I didn't know that Animoog was, you know, uh, capable of sounding like a bunch of clocks. Well, it is. Uh, and it, this is, uh, happens around 10 minutes. So if we skip to around 10 minutes uh, in. You can hear that kind of tick tocky sound. And it goes on a little bit further and sounds a bit more clocky. It sounds a bit more like clocks. Okay, when I'd set this up, I didn't really, I wasn't, you know, intending to set out it to sound like clocks, but um, it did anyway. So um, I'm going to show you exactly how to get that sound and then some other some other stuff as well with Animoog. So first of all, what we'd have to do is uh, <clears throat> use Audio Bus to get this particular effect because Guitar Capo is very, very useful for this, you know, for, for several several things. So uh, we first of all need to find uh, Guitar Capo uh, Plus, which is there, and we shall have to launch it. And it should be on it. It should al already be on what I had it on on yesterday, which is, which is, which is this. And it was strong for... And BPM is 170, so it's 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 quite quick, you know. And you have to push a PF there, which is like sustain. Okay. And I really, I think my um, so just to choose the guitar sound there wants to be the 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 just the the acoustic -y, the acoustic sound is best for this. So. So 170 BPM in Guitar Capo. Let's go back to Audio Bus here. And now what we want to do now is we want to create a second lane. So we're putting this little plus. And in this second lane, we want to place um, Animoog, which is already open. And when we're in Animoog, we want to go to Setup and um, make sure that we just tap it there. And then we want Guitar Capo as our, as our out. So... And if in Guitar Capo here, if we go to our MIDI in Guitar Capo, MIDI in, MIDI out there, we want to send information. So we want to click send information from Guitar Capo to, to Animoog. So it's, that's exactly what we're going to do. So now we're, we're now triggering, triggering Animoog from, <clears throat> from Guitar Capo. Okay, so let's pop on back over to Animoog. Now, the sound that I used, let's go back to the XY pads for a sec. The sound that I used there, so I have all the packs, all the, all the IAPs and everything. Uh, excuse me one sec. And um, it was, it's the acoustic pack you want. If you haven't already got it, get it if this is what you want to do, this kind of thing. You want to get this clocky sound. So, and in the acoustic pack, you will see glass kalimba here. Doesn't really sound like a clock. So, glass kalimba is the sound that you want. So now, if we go back to guitar capo and we just here's just Animoog. So a big part of it is, and also a part of it is the chords as well. Now, 
Now you're getting that bass note because I have bass turned on, see? Which is nice. So back to Animoog. And this is where we can start to try and get our clock-like sound. So there's not a great deal to do. You just push this whole wave up. And now it starts to sound more like ticking of clocks. But bearing in mind that it's been controlled by Guitar Capo. You could probably, any other thing that will generate arpeggios and send MIDI information out will do the same thing. So envelope and modulation here. <clears throat> to take your if we look at it bigger here <clears throat> your decay and sustain to a, to a point where you you're happy with the the sound okay and if if we go into the timbres here we will see that uh, the first two are these two here so they're all right and this is what we're basically triggering off now because we've moved our our thing up there <clears throat> now also at this point there was something else we need to do just to get the final thing going <clears throat> and i used aufx dub and fortunately the very first just the absolute default the fault preset is is the one that I used because it sounds most most like a clock. See? So when you put this back in with guitar capo now. So that's how you get the clock sound. Also, by the way, we'll just as a thing, we'll set that off again. <clears throat> Some of the other very, very cool things you can do. We can start to play now with the actual, we can start to play with the actual um, orbit in the path of what you're firing on. So first of all, we'll go to the orbit here. And we can start adjusting. And that's the speed. And we could tune this up. But then we could also play with the path as well. But let's be really cool now. And we can edit some of these out by double tapping them once we're in edit mode and then we can just just move our thing to its different wave cycles so let's just have a look at uh, Animoog now on its own so here we have I probably need to close and reopen so let's just start it again right so I'll show you some of the cool things here's the default <laughs> So different ways you can control your your um, your your wavetable, basically, and its cycles and its animations, and the animations are how it how it makes sound, obviously. So uh, uh, a good pointer at this point as well is go into scale and find a scale that you like. Here you can choose from scales, or you can put your own in and lock. Because if you're going to record with Animoog, and you may want to change sounds, different sounds and stuff. Once you've locked your scale, whatever you choose here will always be 
will always be the same. It won't change the scale, so you'll always play in the same. So if we choose like a... <clears throat> and that's a good that's a good sound to, to start with as well. So so there's this. So I think what we'll do initially now is we'll go to path here and we'll just press clear. Now that will clear out our table. Now it'll still play. But we want to define our path. So we'll um, press edit again. Click on a point here and we could, we've we got two points to play with. <coughs> Up and down. Or we can move it. Uh, well, we can move it any way we like to be fair crossways like this uh, but let's just go up and down because that makes more sense what I want to show you and pick it up again okay so up and down let's take it off a second just move it into the middle now if we go to our <coughs> timbers now you will see our one two three four five six seven eight different timbres sorry um, and each of these Okay, this line here refers to these lines here. So a good way to demonstrate that is to, let's go back here, and let's choose basic here, this basic pack here, and you'll see in here we have something that says silence. It's a big one, it's second one there. So we can select this, right, and that'll go to where it is. And we want to go to basic, and we're going to add silence, and then we're going to do the same thing again. This is a bit time consuming, but it's it's worth it. Silence. And then we'll select the third one there. And we'll also put that as silence. And then this one, we shall put as silence. Now what you're going to get now is like a, <clears throat> well, you'll hear it's like a stuttering as it goes, as it goes down its field. But you see, it's too fast. So... We need to close down the rate a bit. Right, okay. And now the orbit is all wrong as well. So we want to take all the amounts for the orbit down and it'll just travel in a straight line. Let's go to the path again. And you'll see that it's on once. That means it'll just go up on. So we want to go back and forth. So we'll just put that on to back. And so you've got loop back and forth and once. So now it'll go up and down. Now, if we wanted to make that more sort of static, let's go to our envelopes and our filter envelope. Huh? And our modulation envelope, we can take that down as well. Now we can start doing different things. Let's hold that. <clears throat> now let's go back to our, our timbres again now. <clears throat> and we can start to, let's uh, stick with this because it's going to make life a lot easier. Okay. We can just change out. So now you've completely changed the sound. We 
Give that some glide. Okay, now we've already got a bit of delay on there. Let's, let's, let's. Now let's start to change. And there you go, guys. There's a basic look at Annie Moog, and now you can mess around with the wavetable <coughs> and, and, and how I got the clock sound. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, like the video, subscribe to the channel, visit us at the soundtestroom.com, uh, where me, Colin, and Jacob have you have a, hope you have a very productive day, week, year, and even a month. And uh, I'll see you again soon. All right, guys. See you later.